This tutorial covers planning with tracks on different levels and creating track grades. We are starting with the simple figure 8 layout. The height profile at the bottom of the document window can give us a quick overview of track heights in your layout. You can use the layout button in the toolbar to turn the height profile on or off. A number of functions are available to create grades to a track or adjust the height of tracks. A simple up and down grade can be created by selecting the track that will be at the highest point of the track section. Use the functions in the element menu or click on the fields labeled elevation in the sidebar to open the dialog for setting the height. The grade before and after the selected track can be adjusted to create the desired height profile. For an up and down grade we can set the target height at the selected track. We set the slope to 30 per mil or 30 cm in height difference per 1000 cm of track section. The resulting up and down grade profile would be suitable to create a bridge crossing a street, tracks or other obstacles. We can also lift all tracks connected to the selected star track to the same level. In our example we choose 7.5 cm as the destination height. After entering the height we select the shift to height option. An alternative way of adjusting track heights is available for a connected section of tracks. Let's switch to a different layout. The orange track section should cross over the green tracks. In order to grade a section of tracks we need a connected track segment. As we need to have a start and end track, loops are not allowed. So we start by selecting all tracks in the orange section except the turnout. Again we can open the dialog to grade a section of tracks by simply clicking a field in the elevation section in the sidebar or by using the edit selection start and end height function in the element adjust height menu. We enter the same height for both endpoints of the selected track section. This will create a leveled section with all tracks located at 8 cm above the base plate. Turnouts and other track elements made up of more than a single track can't be graded. They can however be set to an arbitrary height. We adjust the height of the turnout to the same level that we've used for the orange track section. We can now create a grade to the level track section. All yellow tracks up to the turnout are selected. The dialog to grade a section of tracks is brought up again. This time we are creating an ascending grade from the base plate level to the orange track section. Another handy function in the Element Adjust Height menu can be quite useful when you need to start from scratch with planning grades and heights in your layout. Reset Track Heights removes all grades from the selected track elements and resets track heights back to zero. You might also want to check the height related function in the view menu, such as the ability to display heights only for tracks on graded sections or turn off the track height display entirely.